Guide Dogs for the Blind are not born, they're trained through hard work and the help of some friends. Ivory, let's go. She's the newest go, addition Ivory. to the noble household. She sometimes can be a bit naughty, but she's just the best to have around. But for Ivory, good girl. This is just a pit stop on a larger journey. Well done. That's because That's Ivory right. is a service dog in training. Philip connected with her through Guiding Eyes, an organization that pairs volunteers with puppies who will one day help the blind. Yes, well done. Let's go. For 12 Good to 16 girl. months, Philip will work with Ivory well to done. develop her social skills before she moves on for more in-depth training. This is the only time that she's going to be living in a house before she goes to work with a blind person, so we need to make sure she's not a terror in the house. House manners are incredibly important for somebody who is blind. If they have a dog that is taking their shoe and moving it, that's really chaotic for them. We need dogs that are very, very reliable in the house, and so that's the biggest thing our volunteers do for us. Maureen Hollis is a regional manager for the Guiding Eyes Puppy Program. So this is Ivan. He is just six and a half months old. She also happens to be a puppy raiser herself. Um, Ivan is probably the 12th dog that we've raised. It's just a wonderful investment that you're making in your life and somebody else's. Maureen oh says Guiding Eyes is in need of volunteers right here in Connecticut. Good boy. She recommends those who are interested take a puppy pre-placement class. There's no obligation to raise a puppy even when you take that class, but it does help you to figure out what is it going to be like to have a puppy in your family? What is it like to raise a Guiding Eyes puppy as opposed to a, a pet dog? Um, is it the right volunteer opportunity for you? For Philip, Free. there are no regrets. If someone was thinking about raising a puppy, I would definitely say do it. It's a great experience. You'll have a great dog and it's a lot of fun. Even though Ivory can't stay with Philip forever, this pup will always be welcome home. I would definitely say that Ivory is part of our family. A four-legged friend for life. To apply to be a puppy raiser or sign up for a puppy raising class, log on to guidingeyes.org.